if there's one skill that I believe that women should have in their leadership toolkit, it would be um, confidence. I think you have to go into a room knowing who you are and delivering it at all times. You know, one of my personal mantras ever since I've been a young woman has been, life is always more exciting on the other side of a yes. Just say yes and then figure it out. I think about all the, the um, incredible experiences that I've had as both in my professional life and in my rotary life. And a lot of times I've said yes and then stepped back and said, okay, now how am I gonna get there? How am I gonna figure that out? First and foremost, always back yourself. You have to back yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to, even if it means writing it down, remember all of the incredible things that you have done and you're still here. All of the difficult things that you've been through and you're still here. Recognize yourself the right to be imperfect. There is not such things as perfect person. We should not strive for the big plan. We should strive for the realistic one. Balance is achieved over time, not within a day. I also think there is something about not hiding your light under a bushel. I think sometimes as women, you know, we can do that more so. But actually, if you stop and take some time to journal or type out what your strengths are, what are you good at, what is the kind of work that you do that makes you feel good, you know, because I think it's really about, a lot of times it is about how do we feel, how you connect with the feeling and the doing. I think that's really important. We all bring our own skill set to every leadership experience we have. And nobody does it the same way. You know, one of the things that's true about every leader is that we lead with our strong skills and where we're not as strong, that's where we find some help along the way to get people to come in and help support what we're doing. When you condition, you keep practicing and you don't stop when you get it right. You stop when you can't get it wrong. And that's what I think leadership is. You keep going until you can't get it wrong. You keep practicing and keep, so you don't just show up and say, I'm a leader. Um, you don't just fake it until you make it. You keep practicing um, until you can't get it wrong. We don't engage in activity that we don't enjoy and can't manage. We learn this word to say no whenever a colleague systematically asks us to undertake on extra work when we, will, we don't undertake responsibility from a false sense of obligations or guilt. When you value yourself as highly as you can, actually, you'll remember what a fantastic leader you are, what a great person you are to be around, how much you've done, you know, and your, your impact for other people.